nothing to deny Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of ColourPop Cosmetics. This is the look that I came up with and I love it. I think it's like fall creepy Halloween glam. You know what I mean? Not that it's creepy, but like the lime green and the purple mixed together kind of remind me of like zombie makeup. It's like a glam modern zombie makeup. I don't know. <laughs> it's just super fun and awesome. And I'm also going to be telling you guys why ColourPop did not send me their fall collection. I've been getting a lot of questions about that. People wondering if I'm off the PR list and everything like that. So I'm going to let you guys know what happened. And yeah, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So I'm feeling a little dehydrated today. I'll be honest. I am freaking... Oh, my vagina is trying to fucking kill me today, okay? My vagina hates me. I am cramping. I am miserable. I am not a happy camper. So I just feel like my skin just gets so bad around this time. I just want to die. So I'm feeling dehydrated. I'm going to, I know this isn't a ColourPop product, but their setting spray is actually a matte setting spray, I'm pretty sure. I need some hydration. I put on moisturizer and all that good stuff, but I'm going to take some of my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water, which I love. I feel like a lot of people didn't love this. I love it. I, mm. Oh, I just, just drench myself in it. Like drowned rat status. Absolutely. Mm, that feels good. So first I'm going to start with foundation. Can you guys believe I still have not ordered my full size of the ColourPop foundations? I'm still using the little samples they sent me. Now what shade did I decide I think was my color? I don't know. Why did I wear white? I hate filming with a white shirt on. I love how it looks, but like it's a risk. <laughs> it is a risk. I think... Fair 30 is what we decided was my shade the last time I used these foundations on camera. I burned myself today. Look at that. I It's a welt. Look at that. That is not going to be fun. <sighs> I'm not having a good day today, you guys. It's been a rough one. Okay, so this is Fair 30 of the ColourPop Foundation. And I'm going to take some of that onto my 3D HD blender sprung. Is this right? This looks a little too fair. Lord, I don't know, but we're gonna try it. If I need to add in a deeper color, I totally can. It's like I self-tan so much that when I'm not wearing self-tanner, I have no effing idea what my shade is. Hmm, yeah, she might be a little light. So blending that with my 3D HD blender sponge. How do you do? Oh, my skin's a mess right now. I'm just breaking out. Okay, shade, that is not your color. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna mix some of the light 50 shade in, which is too dark for me, but I'm pretty sure, actually it might be okay. I don't know. That would have been probably closer to my shade. Whatever, we'll mix it in, we'll mix it in. So how are you guys? Happy Tuesday? I believe I'll be uploading this on Tuesday. So how was your weekend? What did you guys do? I have a question I've been wanting to ask you guys for so long. Do you have like any semi-problematic YouTubers that you actually love and like they're always in some shit, they're always in some drama, the stuff they say or do on camera is ridiculous and you know, they're just problematic but you can't help but love their personalities. I know this kid gets a lot of hate. <laughs> he gets a lot of shit and I can't help my obsession with him for some reason. Charles Gross on YouTube, I've been watching him for years, for absolute years. I'm sorry, but he's one of the most entertaining channels I think I've ever seen. I adore him. I watch all of his videos and those, like they're not necessarily kid friendly. So just, just a fair warning to you guys if you're watching them with children around, like maybe don't because I think what I love about him is he's so open and talking about his life, his hookups, his upper New York, you know, type of lifestyle, which I'm obsessed with. Ever since Gossip Girl, you know, I'm just obsessed with that lifestyle and I love it and he loves lives it and he lives his life and he has no apologies. There have been some videos he's done that have gotten him a lot of heat, especially recently. I think he did one that just rubbed people the wrong way, of course, because he said some kind of like, whoa, things in there, which I don't agree with, but I can't help the fact that he just entertains the shit out of me and I love his videos. So I'm just wondering if you guys have anyone else like that. And I'll be honest, also, you know, Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star is extremely problematic and I'm not going to bring up his drama and everything. I know he's apologized. I don't even want to get into any of that. Love his videos. He's problematic and I don't buy his products, but it doesn't mean I don't think that he's extremely entertaining and funny and charismatic and um, knows how to beat a face, you know? He does. So I just think that's, it's just such a funny part of YouTube that there can be people who are problematic and don't say the right thing and have had poor actions, but yet like just their entertainment level is so great. <laughs> so if you guys have a channel like that for you, like let me know and please don't shame any of the channels. And if you absolutely hate anyone I talked about in this video, like that is your right 
right and I won't argue with you. So please don't try to argue with me and tell me why I shouldn't watch certain people because it is what it is. <laughs> but anyway, I was just watching one of his videos and he just, the things he says, like he just has such a smart, witty personality and I don't know how he comes up with things to say like so quickly when he's like dogging something or like it's just, I don't know, he just cracks me the fuck up. I can't help it. He's so funny to me. And again, don't hate me if you don't love the people I talked about. I'm sorry. So I did absolutely nothing this weekend. I was a complete slob kebab. All I did was work out and then I was lazy for the rest of the weekend. I'm really excited to be getting back into shape right now. You know, my wedding is next year. So I'm trying to lose, I'm just trying to get to my goal weight by December because that is ideally when I would go shopping for my wedding dress, I'm really hoping. And so that's been my goal, I've been working out. The beginning stages of weight loss are so annoying because I can see in measuring my body and on my scale that I am losing weight, but it's like my face and like my arms are like the last place for the weight to go. And when I do videos now, I still probably get five to 10 comments um, a video saying, wow, you got fat again. And it's just like the hard part of YouTube is that like, Ugh, can you not critique my body? I know I gained weight again. It is what it is. I'm not freaking out about it. You know, people are dying of horrible diseases. There's, you know, cancer. There's so much that could be wrong that's not wrong with me that if I just have to lose weight, I am good. I am gravy. It's fine. But it is frustrating that even though I see I'm losing weight and I'm getting more into shape and closer to what I looked like when I did lose all my weight before, you can't really see it yet. Like it just doesn't show. Even if the scale and the measuring shows it, like with when I measure my body, you just don't see it. So it's kind of, I hate, I hate that part of it. You know, I think the shade is perfect. I think I should have went with light 50, just like right up, right at the jump. Oh my gosh. Also, in case I forget to share this in the beginning of the video, and if I already shared it, I apologize. I just want to make sure you guys know through October, I actually have a ColourPop discount code, which is crazy. Thank you to ColourPop for sending that over to me. It's only good through October. So if you guys want to save some money on some ColourPop, check my link down below and I'll have the code down below there for you guys. It is an affiliate link. So if you don't want to use it, that's totally fine, but it'll save you money on ColourPop. It just excludes palettes and kits and things like that, but all individual items, it should work on. For concealer, I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Lights 14. Pop some of that under here. And then still blending that in with my sponge, just like so. I'm then gonna set that with my ColourPop Cosmetics Translucent Setting Powder. Still using my 3D HD blending sponge. This is the sponge in my Sigma Beauty brush set, which is just still crazy cool. I've been seeing tons of photos of you guys posting your brush set, which just blows my mind, honestly. And I'm sure every YouTuber says this, whoever has a product out. I really didn't expect anyone to purchase it because I know it's not like a, a new palette, it's nothing new, you know, it's products that they've had forever. It's nothing that I personally created or anything like that. But I've been seeing you guys post photos of your brush sets and I just, I cry every time. I'm not even kidding. It just, it brings me to tears because I'm just very proud and I just can't believe that you guys want to support me that much. You know, it just means a lot to me. So just thank you so much if you've spent your own money on my brush set. And it is still available. It's available till it sells out. So if you want to check it out, I will link it down below. It's all my favorite Sigma brushes and it's just, it means the world to me. It means more to me than I think anyone could ever imagine. I'm sure you guys are so sick of hearing me talk about it, but it's just the biggest, coolest thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. So I understand if you guys are sick of hearing about it, but I hope you also understand how much it means to me. Like it just, uh, it's my world. And then pop this down my nose. I'm going to take the rest of that leftover translucent powder on a fluffy brush and just set the rest of the face with that. So I've only been using translucent powder to set my makeup. And recently I was thinking, oh gosh, I haven't used like powdered foundations in a long time. That's what I always used to set my makeup with. So I'm kind of wondering if I should get back into that or not. So on the eyes, I want to use the ColourPop Cosmetics Good Sports Palette from the Fall Collection. I have so much to say about this collection. As you guys know, I didn't do a video on it and I'm gonna tell you exactly why I did not use this yet. Why I haven't used it yet, because I'm using it now, duh. I'm first gonna take my E40 blending brush and pop into this shade High Hopes. I was so excited about this collection because it just looked like everything I love. The shades were super unique. I mean, there's some standards in there, but to me, like this is what I would want out of an eyeshadow palette. If I were to create an eyeshadow palette, like this is exactly what I would want it to look like. Just 
fun, bright, beautiful colors, mattes, shimmers, you know, all of the above. So I was so excited to get the PR package. I was checking my mail every single day and I always get the PR after everyone else because I live on the East Coast. And as you guys know, most, not all of course, but a lot of beauty influencers live in the LA area or they live somewhere near California. Because I live on the East Coast, I always get my packages a day or two after other influencers, which is so annoying. It's not the brand's fault. It just is what it is because I'm so far away. So any hoozle, you know, I saw everyone else get their packages and I was like, okay, that means mine will be here in a day or two. I'm so excited. Checking the mail every single day, checking my front doorstep every single day. And I was like, gosh, that's weird. It's been like, you know, three or four days since everyone else got it. It's not here yet. I was like, oh, it must be delayed or maybe it even got lost. I don't know, but I'll just keep waiting. And if you follow me on Twitter, you saw me talking about this nonstop. I was like, sorry guys, I'm still waiting on the, you know, fall collection from ColourPop because it's like, you know, their fall collections are always a really big collection or any holiday collection. I am always so excited to get those live swatching videos up for you guys and it just wasn't coming. Another week or so passed and it did not come. It just never showed up and I was like, crap. What did I do? What did I say? ColourPop took me off the PR list. I was freaking out. What made it so much worse, and I know people were just concerned that this happened, but I was getting tweets and comments saying, did ColourPop take you off the PR list? Like, I see that you don't have the fall collection up and I can't believe it. Like, you always give them up so quickly. Did they take you off the PR list? And I was like, shit, they definitely took me off the PR list and now everyone's noticing and this is so embarrassing and this is so terrible because you guys know I'm a diehard fan of ColourPop. I have been since day one, since their first launch and I cannot believe they took me off the PR list. I was re-watching my live swatching videos like, what did I say? Like just looking for something that would clue me in as to why they took me off the PR list. I couldn't find anything. I've given them absolutely fantastic reviews and then there were some, you know, previous collections that I said I just was not super jazzed about. It didn't blow my skirt up. So I was like, wow, I just really didn't see ColourPop being one of those brands who takes you off the PR list for, you know, a negative review. That happens and it happens to me all the time. A ton of people have taken me off their PR list. Kat Von D is taking me off. Ofra Cosmetics taking me off. Granted, Ofra probably took me off their PR list because I never really mentioned my Ofra code. I didn't use a lot of their products because they just, I, they have some beautiful products, don't get me wrong. I have a lot of Ofra favorites, but overall, they just didn't really excite me. So I understand why they would take me off because they gave me an affiliate code and I just really didn't use it. I just wasn't super jazzed about any of their stuff. So any hoozle, I'm like, okay, enough's enough. Like I need to get to the bottom of this. So I email ColourPop. I next wanna jump into the shade Reckless with my E25 blending brush. This brush is also in my Sigma brush set. I'm sorry again if you're sick of hearing that, but I just want you guys to know in case you were curious about the brush set and you missed my video. That's why I kind of tell you guys. Let's also take this through the crease. Oh. Ooh, I'm getting like fall vibes I love. I was like, let me email ColourPop. Let me see what the deal is. Why did they take me off the PR list? And they need to know how sad I am. And I just need to get to the bottom of this. So I sent them an email and I was like, hey, I don't know if you know me, but you know, I'm that girl ShayXO on YouTube, which I hate saying. I wish I would have picked a cooler name. I was like, I'm that girl ShayXO on YouTube and I am on your PR list or I was, and I often do live swatching videos. I don't know if you've seen them, but you know, my, my audience really loves them and it's definitely one of my most popular little video series that I do and I was like quite frankly if you took me off the PR list I would just like an explanation as to why or what I did and if there's anything that I can do to stay on it because it's just a video that I love love doing they're my favorite types of videos to do and my audience loves them so so much and it just it would kill me if I can't continue doing live swatches of your collections on my channel because it's, it's just you know it's what we do over here it's like kind of what we're known for now and I love it my audience loves it and it would just kill me to not do it anymore I sent the email and I was so scared waiting for the response I didn't even want to check my email because I was so afraid of what they were going to say and then immediately I got a response back from the ColourPop PR team and they were like, hey Shay, oh my gosh, absolutely not. We did not take you off your PR list. And it turned out that they actually had a little factory malfunction where one of the label makers for their shipping labels had an issue, it broke, it's something, it shredded the labels. And they basically didn't have a way of knowing which shipping labels got destroyed and who wasn't going to get the PR package anymore. So I'm not the only one this happened to. If you guys have another favorite who didn't get their PR fall collection, and if you've heard them talk about it, um, I would definitely let them know to reach out to ColourPop because they fixed the issue for me right away. But 
they sincerely apologized, which they absolutely did not have to do. They didn't have to be sorry if that's, you know, it was just a little system error, but basically my shipping label got shredded. They had no way of knowing who's got shredded and who's didn't. And they were so nice. They immediately overnighted me the fall collection so that I could do a video with it, which I'm so excited about. I thought that was just so kind of them and they were just so sorry that I felt like I had been dropped from the PR list and they were just so, so nice to me. They said they love my videos and that made me really, really happy. And so yeah, I am not taking off the ColourPop PR list, thank God, because <laughs> I would literally die. I'm such a big fan that that would actually break my heart. I mean, my heart was broken. I really thought I, I messed up with them. And I think I was more upset that I thought that they would even do that if I had given a bad review, that they would take me off because of that. I just never saw them being a brand that did that. But luckily, all is fine. I'm not taking off the PR list and now I'm using this palette today because they sent it to me. So thank you so much ColourPop for being awesome and still getting it to me and explaining that and just being so kind. I just, it made me feel so much better. This is a beautiful crease color. Oh my gosh. I want to take that same reckless shade a little bit further down onto the lid. It's just so beautiful. It's such a gorgeous, whiny kind of plum shade. So I'm just going to pat that on the outer crease. Just like so. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. So now I want to do a little cut crease, get a little dramatic for you guys. I'm gonna take the No Filter Concealer again from ColourPop with the best cut crease brush in the world. This is the Cut Crease E62 brush from Sigma. What, okay, so do this side. And, am I filming? I am. And here we go. Oh my God, I have an itch, I have an itch. Why do I have an itch right now when I'm cut creasing? Jeez Louise, oh my God. Ugh. And now try not to <laughs> blink this concealer onto my eyelid, please and thank you. We are going to take this amazing color, EBB, this fantastic chartreuse green. You guys know I live for green. And we're gonna pop that right on there, baby. Oh yes. And then on the inner half, let's just take a little of this lighter shade up here. What is this called? Wild Out. Is that it? Yeah, Wild Out and just pop that on the inner corner or on the inner half of the cut crease. Ooh, 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 ooh. I love it. This is like spooky glam makeup and I'm living. Let's do the same thing on the other eye. I'm gonna fast forward through this cause it's boring. And then we'll move on to the rest of the face. Living, living. I love this green amongst the purple. It's just a little unexpected, but it works, babe. For contour, I'm gonna take ColourPop's Afternoon Delight with my little Sigma E41 brush. And I first like to start with my nose. So shading a bit on the sides here before I dust away that baking powder. What do you guys bring for Halloween? Do you dress up for Halloween? I used to and now it's like I don't do anything. I sit at home. This is only my second Halloween in this new house that we are living in. And before I, we were living in this house, we were living in an apartment and there, we had no trick-or-treaters and I was always so upset. I absolutely love having trick-or-treaters. I love it so much. Also, the standard in New Jersey is, and I'm sure it's this way in a lot of areas, um, now that times have kind of changed and parents want to be a little safer about trick-or-treating, uh, the standard in New Jersey is you do trunk or treat. It's called trunk or treat. And the schools that night will have all the parents come and you open up the trunks of your cars and you decorate them and the kids just walk around the parking lot and the parents give out candy in their trunks. It's like a safer way and everyone's just there. You don't have to go all around to the neighborhood. So that's very, very common. So I kind of thought, wow, trick-or-treating days are done. It's a thing of the past. I'll never have trick-or-treaters again. Last year, I actually did get trick-or-treaters and it was the best day of my life. I loved it so much. And I'm telling you, I am the best house to trick-or-treat at. First of all, I make sure to only get the good candy, really good candy. Stuff kids actually want. I get the chocolate and caramel and Snickers and Reese's and like the delicious stuff. Airheads, everything fun and amazing. No like dum-dums and candy corns and grossness. I even bought boxes of like fangs, like vampire teeth and like gushy eyeballs. Like I just made the funnest giant bowl of Halloween candy and just little trinkets and fun things. And then when trick-or-treaters come up, I don't just, you know, grab a handful and put it in their bags. I'm like, here, 
take it. What do you want? Like, take a look. Get in there. Get as much as you can. Fill your whole bag. I don't care. I had like three bowls ready to go because I was so excited to have trick or treaters. I'm taking that same afternoon delight with my soft angled F23 contour brush, which is also in my brush set. And anyway, so I just like, I love the trick or treaters and I love giving them candy and I love giving them all these little fun things. And I love just being like, take whatever you want. It is yours. My friends are annoyed at me because they want to have a little Halloween party. First of all, Halloween's on a Wednesday night this year. So beat. So I'm like, no, I'm not coming to your guys' party. I got trick or treaters to worry about. And they're like, what? <laughs> you don't want to come out because you want to give candy to the trick or treaters. And I'm like, absolutely. The holiday is for them. It's not for us. It's not even a holiday, but you know what I'm saying. And I'm going to take the ColourPop No Filter Pressed Powder in the shade Light. And I'm going to use this to sweep off our translucent powder. I love this brush. This is the F37 Spotlight Duster Brush. And it really is just like the perfect little duster brush because it's not so heavy and weighted and like dense that it knocks off your makeup. You know what I mean? Sometimes you go to sweep off your under eye powder and you feel like it actually like moved your concealer. This doesn't do it. I don't have a ColourPop eyeliner. Are they redoing them? I went on the website and I saw they're like gone. So don't know what's going on with that. I hope they're redoing them. I would love for them to be anything like their lip liners. Their lip liners are heavenly, but I don't have a ColourPop eyeliner. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Aqua XL shade number 10. It's the matte black. And we're gonna tight line with this. Oh, it's so black like my soul. Love it. Mustn't forget our upper lash line. Now I'm just taking a shadow brush. This is the E57 Firm Shader Brush and I just want to blend that out. And then I want to smudge it up with that Reckless Shadow that I'm so fond of. Oh, So that green kind of transferred onto my crease. I'm sure you guys can see, and I've been trying to buff it out and it's just there. A little annoyed at that, but what can you do? I just wonder why that happened. That doesn't always happen with me. So I'm like, hmm. For blush, I'm gonna take ColourPop's Bar Hopping because it's just a nice neutral, nudie rose shade. I think it'll tie in well. Cute. I know I get a little blow. That's a lot. That's insane, Jay. That is too blush crazy. Oh, it's just very pigmented. I wasn't expecting that to happen. For highlighter, I'm going to take one of these in the Crush On You Super Shock Highlighter Palette. Which one should we do? I like this pinky one. Poker Face. Ba -ba 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 poker Face. Ba -ba -ba poker Face. Na -na -na -na. So I'm going to take ColourPop's Poker Face <laughs> as my highlighter. Oh, is it? Oh, is it a... It's like, it is Super Shock Cheeks, isn't it? Super Shock Highlighter Palette. It is, it's like jelly and not so powdery. I don't know why I didn't get that from the name of it. I just didn't know they could put these in a palette form. I thought they would dry out. Maybe it's like a fusion between the powder and the Super Shock Cheeks, or maybe this is just fine. Ooh, she's pretty. Yes. I love this color. That just blew my socks off. I didn't know they could put the Super Shock Cheeks in a palette. I thought they would dry out. Up the nose, if you will. It's a little dark for me. Dang it. It kind of casts a shadow when I, you know, I'm not facing the light, but I like the color. I'm gonna top it with a bit of Talkin' Code as well. See if I can't brighten that up a bit. Oh, I didn't even do my mascara. I don't wanna wear false lashes today because I'm just not in the mood, quite frankly. For mascara, I'm just gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara because I don't have a ColourPop mascara, but wouldn't that be amazing? Lastly, for lips, I'm gonna do a little combo here. I'm gonna use ColourPop Cosmetics Rouge Lip Liner with the Pencil Me In Matte Lipstick. This just came out in their fall collection, I believe, as well. Okay, I'm gonna stop here with the lip liner because it keeps breaking on me. And it's just, I can't keep sharpening it. It's like just insane. Um, so I'm gonna take Pencil Me In Matte Lipstick now. This is such a pretty color, oh my gosh. Mm, this is so beautiful. And lastly, let's set it all with the ColourPop All Star Prime. <laughs> what? Lastly, let's set it all with the ColourPop All Star Setting Spray. Mmm. I love the smell of this setting spray. 
It's like very earthy. And that is it for this full face of ColourPop makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget, if you want to check out any ColourPop products, you can use my discount code only through October. It will end at the end of October. My code, I believe, is shade 10, but double check in the bottom box down below. Thank you guys for watching today. I love you, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!